I'm horribly offended that she thinks that anyone in this community would, would think that. Jim McNeil was at Friday night's game. His son plays on the Wells football team. He says kids painting their faces, banging on pails, and the end of the game chanting is all about school spirit, not about being disrespectful to Native Americans. Our team does a breakdown and they do a chant after every single win. It, this is not uncommon. And it, we do it right there in front of the other team. It, it's not meant out of respect. It's meant out of, we had a great game and we won. This is awesome. There was parents that were, and students and parents, these are adults, that had their hand over their mouth making noise while we were walking out. Amelia Tuplin says that gesture is offensive to Native Americans. She sent a letter to the superintendent demanding an apology. Our community uh, is an extremely proudful community. You know, the allegations that were made uh, are severe, and, and, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, and we're going to fact find. Daly says they're looking at security footage, talking to people who were at the game that night, and four police officers who were on duty to get to the bottom of these allegations. Just because things were said doesn't necessarily mean it happened that way. You know, and our job is to find the facts, and that's what we're going to find. We're going to do everything that we can to, A, uh, protect our kids in our community, and at the same time, if uh, things were inappropriate, we'll address that as well. Now, the superintendent says that he expects to have a full report of his findings tomorrow night about this time. He'll pass that on. Also saying an executive session will be held uh, down the road among the school board, and they will determine what, if anything, will be done here. Live in Wells, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.